I think we can all agree that the manual transmission is one of the greatest inventions since humans discovered agriculture 20,000 years ago. There have been smooth shifters, sloppy shifters, distasteful shifters. Hundreds of cars have let you row your own gears while pulling away a bit too fast from a stoplight. However, no car has ever had a cooler shifter than this. I'm gonna be honest right off the bat, I really love this car. The Volvo S60R with the space ball is really special, and from my research, less than a thousand, two thousand six models like this were made for the US. The regular car is a mid-tier Volvo sedan priced to compete with the BMW 3 Series. The R-Spec, however, is Volvo's answer to the M3. As you can see, the S60R has healthy performance numbers and a fascinating powertrain. Under the hood is a turbocharged 300 horsepower inline five cylinder the only 5 cell that I've ever driven. The engine is smooth, revving past 7,000 and basically matching the E46 M3's performance numbers for $18,000 less. Volvo might never have been a paragon of dramatic and exciting styling, but damn, this thing looks good. Yes, I know this particular S60R is not in decent shape. Ignore the UV light Jackson Pollock. The hood is normal. Volvo clear coat is shit. It might not be flashy, but I think the badge and design of this car make it into the perfect luxury sleeper. Subtlety is the name of the game with sleek, elegant body lines flowing into the taillights. The badging whispers instead of screams. There are a ton of R's around the car. In the back, but also in the grille, where it's almost the same size as a Volvo emblem, and in the wheels and steering wheel. But they're small and they don't overwhelm. It's one of my favorite designs of a sports sedan ever, maybe only losing out to the E46. Does human achievement exist because of arrogance or in spite of it? Seriously though, who does this to their limited production car? It really is a shame because this is worth saving. <sighs> okay, moving past reason 72 aliens don't talk to us. There's actually a lot to like here. Volvo, like other Swedish companies, focuses on simple, functional style. Sometimes even elegant, like the blue gauges that resemble watches I can't afford and an instrument cluster that would make infotainment screens not be able to compute perfection. Of course, nothing compares to the true artistic achievement that is the Spaceball Shifter, which aesthetically is one of the greatest in the history of the automobile. It's almost magic in its operation, making it seem as if you're shifting without actually moving anything. When you are moving though, everything, the design, the engine, the shifter, add up into one lean, mean Swede machine. The Stockholm M3 has a Revy 5 cylinder, active adjustable suspension, and neutral shifter feel. It goes. It doesn't take corners like a Miata or even an E36, but still excellently for a sedan. It's made for long hauls through the curvy roads of Europe and blasting past lane hogs on straight American highways. For the right person, the half V10 is just about the perfect daily. Like I said at the beginning, I love the S60R. I think it combines subtle elegance, functional aesthetic design, and incredible unique elements with performance and rarity. It's no weekend sports car, but it can keep up with that special car even as a daily. For that, the Volvo S60R Spaceball belongs in A tier. Despite the shape it was in, for me, this will be always one of the cars that got away. <laughs>